Joker universe. Well, I didn't have a video planned, so I decided let's show you another shirt from my collection. And with the Italian shirt still up from my review video, I said, yeah, let's go for another Italian team. And I decided, as you saw already in the thumbnail, to show you this beautiful Hellas Verona third jersey from the 1920 season. A season where Verona actually uh, came just back from Serie uh, B and I think uh, they made it through the playoffs. This was kind of a, a little bit of a surprise to me because they had been re re relegated previously. Um, and yeah, uh, they had a very credible finish there. I think they finished ninth as a newly promoted team and ever since they have been actually doing quite well. This was based on Ivan Juric who, and that's why I chose Atalanta as kind of a disciple of Gasperini. A uh, little bit, even more oomph there. Uh, he's a self-proclaimed death metal fan and that's how he lets his teams play. However, there's nothing death metal about this, t uh, about this shirt. It's really, 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 really nice. I have to say, the moment I saw this one, um, I absolutely love This is what a great Italian, mostly Italian, um, alternate way third jersey should look like. You take a white jersey and then you add the team's colors up there, which, um, yes, I think Verona is more in blue, as we see on the home jersey back there. But, you know, uh, blue and yellow are the colors of the city of Verona. So, always liked uh, that one. Then alternating one, it, has a, it reminds me a bit of the Parma shirts of the early 90s, which I also loved a whole lot. So, uh, that was, for me, at the moment I saw it, I was in love with this shirt. Now, how did I get this shirt? Um, I remember Milan just beating Verona, and I said, it would be nice to have a Verona shirt in my collection. And then I just googled a little bit uh, around and I found this company called Sportspa. And they were selling this and the one, the one back there for a total uh, for each uh, uh, just below 20 euros. And I said, okay, that's a good, too good of a deal to pass up. I got also the Bologna shirt. And so, um, yeah, getting, of course, the permission. I got this one. I could not decide should I get the home shirt or this shirt. I gotta say I like this one better but this is more of a classic Verona shirt so I'm glad that I, that I decided to get both of these. But um, what a beauty this is. And that it was sponsorless was for me. Um, it usually came with a Synergy sponsor and then sometimes even Air Dolomiti. Without sponsor it, make, it makes this shirt even look a whole lot more pretty. Now, uh, it's a Macron shirt, so uh, always size, one size up for Macron. It fits me therefore very, very, very nicely. And let me show you some features. I mean, the only teeny tiny gripe I have, and it doesn't look at it at first when you uh, see it, but there is this little ventilation patch up here that kind of breaks the panel a little bit too soon. That's maybe the one teeny gripe that, that, that I have. We got a preview of the now Verona crest, but at that point this was just an alternate logo taken from the crest, but I guess it proved so um, popular that, yeah, we take this now as a new crest and I actually really like it because um, it has the V for Verona, it has the letter for, I think it's Galieri family, uh, so it's, it's also a symbol of Verona, it has the two Mastiffs, um, and it's very strong symbol that is easily replicated also online, which uh, although it is very um, um, intricate and I do like it, the oval shape and so on, uh, this is a much, much cleaner uh, logo. And so for a modern take, I actually am a favorite. It, this one is a kind of silicone crest and the leather actually has a little 3D effect on it, as is this Macron logo here. Uh, the one on the sleeve though is just a plastic transfer as well. I really like like the color. Uh, you can see there the, uh, the sides are packed down by yellow stitches. Uh, and then there are two more stitches, which is something there are two yellow ones here, and then the cross in blue, uh, which adds to it. On the back, um, typically Macron, very, uh, you know, it is kind of a ventilated back uh, panel, and uh, it is probably hard to see now. I, uh, it says Verona here kind of um, stamped into there. 
So it's another nice feature. So I don't have a name on the, on the back. It's a plain uh, white back, but uh, it, it's really nice. I also love the sleeve cuffs in yellow and blue, uh, just round, round, round a lot. Ah, and here I would have actually uh, had the old Verona crest, the now old Verona crest. It's on the tag inside of the, of, of, of the shirt. This is one of the shirts. Um, I absolutely love it. Ah, there's a little bit more giallo blue uh, here on the sides. You know, there's this very ventilated side, side, side panel. The back panel is not as ventilated. Uh, not sure how much you can see it. Um, but the sides are even more ventilated than to have a little bit of a stretch here. Uh, it's also quite nice. Gotta, gotta see. It is overall, um, of course, Macron. It is a stretchy material. Uh, not super, super stretchy, but it's stretchy enough um, to have a little bit of a, you know, if you get it, you, uh, if you get it your true size and not one size up, uh, it is very tight on the body, of course. Uh, also, I always like that uh, Macron uh, says here is the size label and then it tells you uh, the height that it's made for, which is 190 to 195. Since I'm 190, yeah, XXL is my size. I have to look at an XL at one point, so yeah. Really in interesting shirt. Um, I would like to know what you think about this jersey. I I have to I have to say I liked from the season. I will show you another video, video the home jersey. I did enjoy the home jersey. I never really liked the away jersey, which was yellow with all these weird patches in blue. But this one was the outstanding jersey of the season, and I'm very happy that I could get it. Huh? Macron tag, of course, on the bottom there as well. So, in any case, let me know what you think about, about this jersey. Um, if you have any comments uh, to it, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.